Hi, this is Ben Lecours, seven-time Microsoft MVP and founder of System Center Dudes. Today, I'm gonna show you some effective SCCM connect collection management tips, scripts, and tools. Creating ma and managing collection in SCCM is a basic and daily task. Over the years, I've seen too much infrastructure with lack of collection maintenance. It can become a burden if you have hundreds and thousands of them and never clean them up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manage more effectively your collection. Let's begin with the new feature available in the latest SCCM 2010 version. SCCM 2010 has introduced three new important features for collection management. There is a collection evaluation viewer in the console, the collection query statement preview, and the collection relationship view that you can all use in the SCCM console. Let's check those features. So the collection evaluation viewer, I don't know if you remember the, in the old days of SCCM when you had to go into the, the SCCM toolkit from SCCM Media. You had these tools to see the evaluation of all your collection. Now, in the latest SCCM 2010 version, it's integrated in SCCM console. So you can go just in your device collection, right click on the top, and you have a whole bunch of new settings just there. So you can have your evaluation, last member change time, the last completion time of your collection. So it's can be pretty easy to see. Another place they've put that into the monitoring pane. You have the collection evaluation there. So a whole lot of new settings are there and you have all the evaluation queue that are there. So you can close evaluation viewer. It's not needed anymore. And just use what's available in the console. The second one is the collection query statement preview. So before, when you create a collection in SCCM, you had to build it, do an evaluation change to see if your query was correct. So now, if I go in any collection, Go into properties. In the membership rules, click an existing query or create a new one. In the edit query statement window, you now have a new button there. So you can just press it and you see your results. So it, it becomes pretty easy to do some change and see your result right away. The third one I want to show you is the collection relationship. So if you uh, remember correctly, before it wasn't easy to see what was the relation between a collection and another one. So what's a collection relationship? So it's just the limiting collection. So if we see that this laptop Lenovo collection is limited to my all laptop collection. So before it, we didn't have an easy view for that. So right click, view relationship. There we go. So we can see that my laptop Lenovo is linked to the all laptop, which is linked to all system pretty interesting feature. Starting with SCCM 1802, a new feature provides information about the current state of your environment. That's SCCM management in site. So it analyzes data from your site and helps you understand your environment and take action based on the insight. So let's see that. In the administration pane, you have a new management insight there. And if you go in all insight, there's one for collection. So if you're not familiar with that, go see this new feature. It's been around for a while, but not many people use that. So for the collection, just right click, show insight. So the management insight show, shows me some action that I need to do for better collection management. 
So let's see, let, empty collection, more detail. So this will list the collection that have no members. Pretty cool. And this is what make me think about some PowerShell script that I can develop to do those actions. Because right now, the only way to fix that is to go into each collection and really fix it manually. But I've developed some PowerShell script to help you for that. I'll speak about it in the next section of the video. Another improvement for collection is in SCCM 1810 and higher. There was an important change to collection evaluation, which can improve site performance. Previously, when you configure a schedule on a query-based collection, the site would continue to evaluate the query, whether or not you enable the collection to schedule a full update. I don't know if you remember that. So here, SCSM was putting a default evaluation even if you haven't checked that. So now this is fixed, 18, 10 and higher. Adam Gross has already written a complete blog post about it. I'll leave the link of the blog post below the video. So now to the script section. Remember uh, when we talk about the management insight, I've talked about some script to clean up your collection. So I have a script that is called collection cleanup. What that script does, it, it deletes the white collection without members and deployment. Remember in the insight before? Um, so I've developed a script that you just have to run. It will evaluate which collection have no member and has no deployment to it. This is what I call a stall collection. So this collection is pretty useless to your site. So this script will delete it. Just press yes. And it will evaluate each collection. I'll leave the link to this script below the video. Another uh, script that I've developed over the years is a script to create collection based on their Active Directory OUs. This script just runs and it evaluates uh, my uh, Active Directory and I can create collection based on the topmost OU. Uh, this is useful for organization creating some deployment based on uh, departments, uh, so use it as you will, I'll leave also the link below the video. Let's see the results in SCCM. It will give you something like that. And the membership rule will be based on this OU. Another useful script for managing collection is my operational collection script. This is by far my most popular script ever. Uh, it has been downloaded more than 50,000 times. What this script does is that it creates some operational collection that you can use for daily tasks. So the script just runs automatically. already run it on my site so it will say to me that's already existing. Let me show you what this does in the SCCM console. So it creates 101 collection based on various settings. So client version, laptops, Office 365, SCCM, Windows Server, System Health, Inactive clients, workstation, Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8 collection. So this is pretty useful. The last thing I want to show you for the collection management is our collection reports that we've developed. So this report will show you a status of all your collection. 
you can use it to target which collection are giving you headaches so which one is scheduled for full updates incremental updates empty collection collection without deployment collection without members uh, evaluation time um, so many many settings that you can use you can use parameters to only show device user collection which refresh type so pretty useful if you're doing some collection maintenance in your environment so this is it i hope you like our tips and tools for collection management if you like this video please give a thumbs up and like our channel